Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got done filming an eyebrow tutorial, so make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. I'm going to have it linked up above. I reviewed the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencils. This is the micro pencil and the regular brow pencil, the brow power. <laughs> I need coffee, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, check out that video. Today I'm going to be doing a full face using e.l.f. Cosmetics. I have done these videos in the past here on my channel and I know that you guys enjoy those videos because for one, e.l.f. is really affordable and two, they come out with some pretty good stuff. So um, I'm going to sit down and play around with some new products. Some some products are new to me, okay? They might not be new to e.l.f., but they are new to me. And I was walking around at Target. When do I not? I'm always at Target, girl. I see this eyeshadow palette here, and I had to buy it because not only is it like neon, cute packaging, but the colors in here really intrigued me. I love the color scheme of this eyeshadow palette here. So that's what we're going to be playing around with today. I'm kind of thinking of a smoky eye. I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do. And the reason I did an eyebrow tutorial using a different product aside from e.l.f. is because I tried all of the pencils that e.l.f. has for eyebrows and I did not like any of them. Either they were the wrong color, like the color is just off and I bought several colors so it's just I didn't like the undertone of them and then I just didn't like the performance of them so I just made a separate video for my eyebrows. So we're going to go ahead and proceed with the products that I do want to wear on my face from e.l.f. and let's just go ahead and jump into today's tutorial. No, I'd rather be waking up with you Set up alone in your room Slept with the light on Waiting up for you Don't I don't wanna be Another thing that I don't have from e.l.f. is an eye primer, so I almost did buy it, but I'm like, damn it, I have so much makeup. Do I need this? Like, I don't need half of this stuff, <laughs> but I just like thought they were so pretty that I had to buy it. Eye primers are not pretty, so I didn't have to buy that, you know? So it is what it is, and I just applied some eye primer. I just used the Icing Eyeshadow Base from Glamlight. And now let's dip into this palette because I am in love. Hopefully I like the performance of it. We'll see. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Hmm. I really want to do purple. Something with purple. Like I have to do something with purple. So that's, that's probably what we're going to do. This is like a perfect fall or summer palette. I don't know about spring right now. <laughs> but it is what it is. I remember doing a really beautiful purplish smoky eye that a lot of people seem to like so I think I'm gonna do that again but I didn't create a tutorial that time so I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys okay so the first color I'm gonna be taking is called central line ligne roach I'm gonna just show you guys this is the first shade I'm gonna be using I will not try to pronounce the name of this eyeshadow because um yeah, I just can't, okay? By the way, this is the Elf Electric Mood by Tiana Major 9 palette. I don't even know who she is, but she definitely came through with designing this palette. Like, the color scheme of it is beautiful. I love it. So, let's... Ooh, girl, Tiana, you did a very good job, girl. Um, let's get this in here we're gonna apply this to the crease and it's definitely really pigmented hopefully it blends out really well like I want it to be softened up because this is gonna be like one of the transition colors I use several transition colors so yeah so far I am seeing that it is blending out pretty nice this is a beautiful beautiful color okay so now that we have this color laid down we're gonna go in with a lighter shade now, I think that one's gonna be a little dark. Maybe I should just highlight the brow bone. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna take the color Sweeties. I can't pronounce any of these names. Is she like from England or something? <laughs> I'm gonna go into this color right here. I'm placing this color on my brow bone just so that we have that beautiful glow there. This is a, such a pretty color right here. For my next color, I'm gonna use the color Summer Fruit. And that's this shade right here. Okay, so now we have this purple shade and we're just gonna apply it to the eyelid. Oh, now I remember. I actually did do a tutorial of a look similar to this. So you guys just get another one, but... Oh no, that was an affordable brand too. <laughs> I did a ColourPop um, 
tutorial of this purple look and everybody seemed to really enjoy that video it's uh the hocus pocus collection i'm gonna have it linked up here so you guys can check that video out if you guys want to because that palette is so freaking awesome like i really liked it i probably should use it a little bit more but again i have way too much makeup that i can't like reuse everything you know um so it is what it is but yeah this is semi looking similar not really so you guys should still check it out <laughs> okay and then i'm also gonna kind of like wing it out this way i'm gonna take a clean brush and just soften up the edges so that nothing looks too harsh out here and trust me this is just all gonna look really pretty once i have my foundation on everything looks messy right now because <sighs> my acne's a mess we're gonna take this purple shade right here and then just tap it onto the eyelid with my finger like that Ooh, that's pretty it has kind of like blue reflex and it looks amazing i might just mix it up with the blue that's right next to it let me see so i just went in with this one and i just applied it like that but why not take the blue too because this one looks freaking beautiful as well let's see how that looks oh wow that looks really pretty okay like i said i really want to go into that black color with this black shade i'm going to apply it to the outer corner right here okay this this is not looking like that one video but that's okay because we didn't want to do the same thing right now we soften up the edges so some of that black eye should have just fell underneath right here. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. I'm pretty sure you guys can a little bit. Um, so we're just going to kind of smoke out this outer edge with the purplish shade that we just used. I'm going to go back into this shade right here and I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line right here. I look at my phone like somebody's actually taking the time to text me, you know, and <sighs> nobody's fucking texting me. It's freaking Michael's craft store. <laughs> A discount. I got a discount. Woo! Like, I need to go shopping anymore, huh? I'm always shopping and I need to stop. I need to have some self-control. Okay, perfect. So now that I have like a black looking eye, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and repeat this to this other eye. I'm going to apply some mascara, probably some eyelashes, maybe, maybe not. I'll think about it. We will continue to play around with some more e.l.f. makeup. I'm back. I just applied some moisturizer. I definitely need to invest into some e.l.f. skincare. I have heard great things about their skincare line. I haven't tried it yet so let me know if you guys have tried it and what do you guys recommend if you guys have tried it i'm going to go in today with my elf flawless satin foundation this is the color toffee and this has cool pink undertones see now i really love this foundation i was going to use this one this has definitely been one of my favorites but i am completely all out so i have to go in with this one this one i feel like is the perfect match for my skin complexion I really love the color of this foundation here. I'm gonna go in there with a sponge. I lost my e.l.f. beauty sponge with my move and I'm using right now the Araceli beauty sponge that came in a boxy charm or was it an Ipsy box? It was one of those, but I'm using that right now. So I'm just going in there. As you guys can see, this mark right here is not getting the best coverage with this foundation, but we're gonna see if we can cover it up. Ooh, this eyebrow needs to be fixed a little bit. So let me just go in there with a little bit more, see if we can get that full coverage. Hmm. I'm feeling like this foundation is a little bit more of a natural coverage. I forgot the last time I used it. I reviewed it here on my channel. I know I did. I am trying to go in with more foundation and I'm still not getting the coverage that I want. So I'm just going to go proceed with my concealer. I'm going to go with my concealer right here. This is the Camo Hydrating Concealer from e.l.f. I'm running out of this too. I love this concealer so much. So I'm just applying it there to my forehead and my chin. I'm just going to begin to blend this out. I definitely have to set my under eye, but we're going to continue to play around with some cream products. I'm going to be using this putty bronzer that I seriously was looking for it everywhere. It was sold out for some time, but I got my hands on it. It's been... I haven't made a video about e.l.f. in maybe four, four, three months. So I'm definitely behind. I've definitely used it. And I am excited to try it with you guys here on camera. I have the color. What is this color? I think this is Golden Days. That's the color I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be taking this Frankie Rose Concealer Brush. This is the number 90. It's just perfect for the perfect size for it because it is a pretty small bronzer. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, kind of like the Putty Primer, like just bigger. This is a really small. It's really tiny, but I mean, you definitely do get a lot of use out of this. I'm going to go in there and just kind of apply this bronzer like this. 
I'm kind of like contouring in a way. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in there. I'm not gonna get too um, precise with it. I'm just gonna applying it before I blend it all out. I'm gonna apply it to my nose just to add some warmth in there. To my chin. I've been really considering chin lipo. <laughs> It's her herid herid her, 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 I can't say this word. Okay, it just runs in the family. So I gotta I gotta get rid of this. Like I'm about to go down to TJ and get it taken care of. I'm just kidding. I just gotta lose weight and stop being freaking lazy. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna go in with my sponge now, and I'm gonna go ahead and just push it all into my skin like that, and then just blend this part in. It just blends out so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a freaking bullfrog, like, <laughs> fuck. If you can't make fun of yourself, then I don't know what to tell you, girl. I'm still pretty, though, like, come on. Now that we have applied the putty bronzer, I'm going to go in with the putty blush. It's the same exact size as the bronzer. This one here is in the color Tahiti. Now I'm taking the Rare Beauty, I think this is a blush brush, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I'm taking this one, it looks like this, it's kind of round. So I'm going to dip in there and we're going to go ahead and apply some of this cream blush. Ooh, ooh, I love it. <laughs> That's pretty. It's definitely going to get softer once I have my setting, like when I set the under eye area, I'm going to apply that over this blush so it kind of like softens it up just a tad bit because it might be a little too intense oh my kidding i freaking love blush this, this is not enough it's just it's just right okay okay i don't have an elf setting powder i probably need to pick that up but i'm gonna just go ahead and set my under eye area and those oily areas in my face with some powder and then i will be right back to see if I have a lip product from e.l.f. <laughs> okay, my darlings, so I just finished up the rest of my makeup. I did apply my lips off of camera. I used the Morphe lip pencil in the color, what is this color? I don't think e.l.f. has any lip pencils. I looked and I couldn't find any. This one is in the color Bar. This is the Morphe Bar lip pencil. And I also paired it up with this e.l.f. lip lacquer. This is in the color Mauve Glitz. I really love how this looks on the lips with this lip liner. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial using all elf cosmetics all the products that i did use in today's video i'm gonna have linked down below in the description box for you guys to purchase let me know if you guys have any questions or any other product suggestions that you would like me to try from elf or it could be another full face using a certain brand that you guys want to see from me let me know down below in the comments also if you have not already subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button down below it's free to do so and turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any future videos for me. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!